What's up guys, welcome back or to the channel. My name is Mike, I'm the Smoking Monkey and if you guys have a light bar then you've probably experienced some sort of a light bar noise or a whistle or humming or something. Uh, if you haven't then it's basically like I just said, it's like a humming or a whistling uh, and it's not fun, it's loud, it doesn't go away while you're driving, and it's very annoying, especially if you go on longer drives like me. I'm constantly taking my Jeep to the trail, probably two, three, four hour drives each way. So definitely sitting in the vehicle that long with that kind of noise is very tiring, it's straining, and it drives you nuts. Uh, you can't drown it out really with the music or anything like that. But I have found a solution. I've actually found two solutions. One of them is something I've already used and tried and it works 100% and it gets rid of the noise every single time. The second thing is something that I just recently found and it is a noise isolator. As you can see here, it's kind of got like the fins so that it fits in the back of your fins and that is where the noise is coming from. A lot of people think that the noise is coming from uh, the gap between the roof and the light bar. It's not. It's not whistling there. Trust me, I've played with it, I've troubleshooted it all. It is the fins on the back of the light bar, the long, long fins. If you have a full-size light bar like I do over my windshield, the long fins on the back are what actually vibrate and what give you that noise. They are the cooling fins, so you don't wanna really cover them up too much uh, while you're using your light, but I will go over that in a minute. So, the first thing I've already tried, these I have not tried. Uh, they are not made for my light bar, but they look pretty standard size, pretty universal, pretty standard shape. So we're going to see if these fit, see if they work, and see if they actually help with the noise. Now, first things first, let's go out, let's go for a drive, and I'll show you exactly what noise I'm talking about so you guys kind of get a better idea. And we'll go and we'll throw these on, see if these help, and then I'll show you guys exactly what I did to make it go away for sure. And... If these work, these are going to be a better solution, but my other solution also works and it also gets rid of all the wind noise. So let's go down and let's go and let's start. And yes, I just looked in the mirror and realized how bad my hat hair is. <laughs> so definitely I threw my hat back on. I apologize guys. I just finished working a shift of eight hours with my hat on and I didn't realize how bad it was. <laughs> so let's go down. Let's uh, hop in the Jeep and let me show you guys exactly how bad that wind noise is. There she is. Still filthy, but we're gonna be going off-roading in the next uh, day or two. Today is Thursday. Saturday we are going back to Ray's place, so she will be getting a lot more dirty than this. But these are the fins that I'm talking about. And you can see how they travel all the way down the light bar to the end. This is what gives you that wind noise and that basically that humming or that whistling noise it is not the gap here I thought it was at first but it's definitely not this gap it's definitely these fins on the back so let's go for a quick drive I'll show you guys what mine sound like and I'll show you guys what I did to fix it so we'll go for a bit of a drive now and I'll do my best to throw it into neutral and get the other noises to kind of to go away while we're going because I have a cutoff exhaust so it's kind of gonna be hard to decipher which noise you're trying to listen for so I'm gonna do my best to put it in neutral and just coast when I hear that light bar kick in because it kicks in at a certain speed it's not a constant thing it's usually probably around I would say 60 kilometers per hour for me anyway and from there it comes on and off but uh, I'll do my best to isolate the noise for you guys and get a good clip of it so let's go it is rush hour right now but it is gonna get dark in an hour, <laughs> so uh, we don't really have a choice. We gotta kinda go out and sit in traffic. Hopefully we'll get a good stretch of road where we can get it up to speed. But I think we should be able to in just a moment here. It looks like it's gonna be clearing up. And there it is, it just started. It went away for a second. If you guys heard it, it was like the woo. And we're at a red light again. So we'll see if I can catch it again. Uh, I know I will be able to, but uh, hopefully I'll be able to get up to speed. And there it is. Oh, it went away. And there it is. <clears throat> so I can actually drop it into neutral right now, because if I slow down, the noise goes away. But the faster I go, the louder it gets. And 
that also kicks in as well. That so you can hear it there. I honestly don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know if yours makes the same noise. I don't know if yours makes that noise. It's like I don't know. It's like a mosquito or like a, uh, a giant mosquito or some shit. I don't know. Honestly, it sounds horrible. But uh, definitely, I have found a way to get rid of that noise. Uh, I'm gonna keep driving a little bit up the road and there's a parking lot that I can stop at to attach these guys. But we're gonna keep driving and I'm gonna see if I can get the noise to come on for you guys a little bit better so you guys get a little bit better sound clip of it. So bear with me and hopefully I can catch you guys a better sound clip in about a minute or two. But like I said, there is a lot of traffic so it's quite hard to get it up to speed right now. I think I got a good clip there. You guys heard a whole bunch of different uh, tones and noises. It usually has that ee, that really annoying like mosquito buzzing noise constantly when you're on the highway at speed. But like I said, it's a little bit hard for me to get it to speed right now. So as you guys can hear, there is quite a bit of noise there and it does sound horrible. And try listening to that for three hours in a row. It's no fun. The music doesn't drown it out, nothing drowns it out, it honestly sounds horrible and yeah. So let's go, I'm going to pull over at a parking lot right now, we're going to throw on these guys, the rubber isolators and see if they help at all and if they don't help then I'll show you guys what I did on my last off-roading trip which did help 100%. As that can't feel my hands but we got it in we got it on and let's go for a drive and to be honest with you guys uh, if you actually turned the light bar or took the light bar off or did it before you installed the light bar this would work hundred percent better because it would be a lot easier to put on me I had to kind of finick with it and squeeze it in between the light bar and the Jeep it wasn't the easiest job my hands are pretty numb but uh we got it done <laughs> so now let's go for a drive and I honestly think it's gonna work really great because even just running my fingers over the fins, uh, there's a car coming, but even just running my fingers over the fins, you guys can see it doesn't make the same kind of metallic noise anymore. So that's a good sign. So I think that we got rid of the uh, light bar noise and I think it's gonna help a lot. So let's go for a little bit of a drive and let's test it. And I know some of you guys are probably wondering who that passenger is back there strapped in. And that is my subwoofer. It is two 10 inches in a band pass. They don't fit in the trunk. I don't think I need to tell you that. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much what that is. So bear with me guys, traffic is not getting any better, but we will get a sound clip for you guys in just a minute been driving for about five minutes now and it's sounding pretty good honestly I haven't heard anything yet just Jeep noises I'm doing 80 right now and still no noise so that's very promising I think oh I can hear it a little bit let's see yeah still hear it a little bit 
So I don't know if you guys can hear that or if I'm going to be able to catch it on camera, but it is very faint. There is, if it was at 100% noise before, then the noise level is at 10% right now, if not maybe less, because you can only hear it under certain conditions. If you're going above 80 and you're holding a constant speed, uh, I honestly don't think it's that bad. I think I might leave them in, but for the sake of this video, I'm gonna put on the other thing, which is a light bar cover. Uh, I have a light bar cover somewhere in here, and we'll go throw that on, and I'll show you guys that it does eliminate the noise completely. There is no noise at all at that point, but let's go and let's see if, uh, let's see if this actually does anything because I want to keep testing this for another like two, three minutes and just see how bad the noise actually gets and hopefully I can get you guys a little bit better sound clip. And there it is. So I don't know how well you guys can hear it. I can't pick up the camera right now because there is a cop beside me. Uh, so I don't want to get pulled over and get a fine for using a mobile device or something like that because we're not allowed to use cell phones or any kind of handheld device. So I definitely will not be picking the camera up off the dash right now, but hopefully you guys can hear it. It's been constantly going the entire time while I've been talking and I'll shut up now so you guys can maybe hear better. So there was a nice long humming and a nice long section of uh, just noise there from the light bar. So hopefully you guys caught that. Hopefully I got a good sound clip of it for you. But in the end, these don't eliminate it 100%. They do like 90%. And I think that that is also in, in part because these aren't made exactly for my light bar. These are made for a general light bar or just a, a the light bar that these guys sell, I guess. Uh, but yeah, it's basically the same shape and the same general idea so I thought I would pick it up and try it out they're very cheap and I believe that you can pick them up on Amazon I will have the link in the description of the video for you guys but definitely if you guys are interested in those I do recommend them they do work like I said they take away 90% of the noise and if you can find ones that are specifically made for your light bar then I'm pretty sure they will be a hundred percent or take away 100% of the noise. But right now, uh, let's pull into this parking lot right here and let me throw on my light bar cover and I'll show you guys that that eliminates the noise completely, 100%. And this is just a universal light bar cover. It is Velcroed at the top. And the reason that the logo is upside down is because I did put it on upside down. The reason being is now I have the Velcro at the top instead of at the bottom and the air flows over it instead of into it, if that makes any sense. Uh, so yeah, now we are covered up on both sides. You can see all the fins are covered up. You can't see inside at all. And I know this works 100%, so let's go for a drive. Let's test it out. I'll show you guys that it is a lot quieter. And I think I have one more idea on how I can make these guys work even better. Uh, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go home, cut them up and insert them individually into the fins as far as I can, because I feel like the spacing isn't perfect on these. So that should help a lot. And that way I'll be able to get them even deeper and hopefully hold everything in place and isolate the noise. But for now, let's go for a drive. Let's drive back and let's see how quiet it actually is. So honestly, I know that the light bar cover works great. The only reason I don't enjoy or don't like using the light bar cover is you can't use your light bar. And every time I want to go use my light bar, now I have to go take the cover off. And that's a little bit of a pain in the ass. So definitely I would rather be using the isolators because they allow me to use my light bar without having to get out of the vehicle. So let's go see if we can jimmy these in there and get them to work for us. If not, then uh, at least we know the light bar cover is a good option. And both of these items I think are like under 20 or 30 bucks on Amazon. So they're super cheap. 
it is an easy fix it is something that pretty much anybody can pick up so hopefully uh, I can get these to actually work and get the isolators in there but either way we do have a solution so our drives will be that much more enjoyable and this weekend we will be driving about three hours to get to Ray's place it is an off-road park and there should be a couple other people joining us it should be a good time hopefully you guys will be joining us in that video and I'll get that video out to you guys as soon as I can but you can see now it is totally quiet at all so I'm satisfied with that so let's go and let's see if we can jimmy those uh, those isolators in there I don't know guys, I don't think this is going to do it. Because it's not actually making any difference when I put them in or leave them out in terms of how much it tings and pings. It still sounds pretty metallic, I don't think we're going to be isolating anything like this. So looks like we're going back to the light bar cover this was a bust but if you don't cut them up they work to about 90 percent uh, I'll probably end up just ordering myself another set but for now time to slap the cover back on so it is a pain in the ass to put on but my tip is to make your, your flap face the other way so that the air isn't actually pulling at it because I have had this thing come off on me on the highway and as you can see it's upside down because if you flip it the other way then the air kind of has a chance to get in here and it will open itself up so I have had this thing open up on the highway and it wasn't fun I managed to reach out and catch it before it totally came off the light bar and I pulled it in but yeah well light bar cover is on these were a bust so unfortunately i won't be using these but i will keep looking for a better solution or maybe a better isolator or whatever the issue is but i will find something and i will update you guys because i do want to find a way to use the light bar and not have it whistle and not have the noise but at the same time not have to hop out and put on a cover every time or take off a cover every time that being said not a big deal not that big of an issue it is a minor thing and we are ready to go off-road I will update you guys right now the links are doing great they actually perform amazing the Jeep drives like a ton better I actually haven't driven the Jeep with any sway bar connected since I've lifted it so it is a nice change it definitely drives really well and I'm really happy with uh, my entire setup right now if you guys want to see this thing off-road we are going off-road in two days and hopefully we will have a good time nobody will break down there is usually at least one person that breaks down fingers crossed it's not gonna be Big Bird knock on Jeep but we will be going out there and covering this thing in a little bit more mud so guys i think that's gonna about cover it for today i think i'm gonna end off the video here it is getting kind of dark out so it's gonna be hard for me to film as you guys can see not too much light left not too much for me to really show you guys the jeep is ready to go and i think we're just gonna go and uh head out as uh, as we are i don't think i need to make any last minute mods or adjustments and definitely i cannot wait to test out those links on the way up there and drive all the way to the trail uh not out of control <laughs> i guess you can kind of say uh it's not like it was out of control but it definitely wasn't that much fun especially on windy days so it should be a lot more enjoyable to drive to the trail i should be a lot more a lot less strained and a lot more rested and a lot uh more ready and just 
it'll be a better day so can't wait for that hopefully i'll catch you guys in that video if you guys did enjoy this video jump down there hit that like button because it helps out the channel a whole lot more than you guys know definitely if you're new around here jump down there hit that subscribe button and i'll hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next one until then guys ride safe out there peace